good day denarians on the go and in the know. It is November 27, 2019. Be sure and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner in the description box below. The number one currency exchange planner for the denarian community for both pre and post RV planning. Tell them the denarian sent you. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. First article of interest. Kurdistan Council of Ministers held a meeting to discuss the latest developments on the dialogues with Baghdad. The Council of Ministers of the Kurdistan region on Wednesday morning held its weekly session under the supervision of the President of the Kurdistan Regional Government Masrur Barzani, and his deputy Kuba Talabani. The themes of the session include, discuss the latest developments on the ongoing dialogues between the Kurdistan regional government and the federal government regarding the rights and financial benefits of the region in the budget of 2020. Discussing the mechanism of regulating and unifying revenues and all revenues for the Ministry of Finance and Economy. Discuss the project of water meters for homes. Next article of interest. Baghdad expected to transfer nearly 1 trillion IQD to herbal monthly, MP. Suleimani, the government of Iraq is expected to send nearly 1 trillion Iraqi dinars, $838 million, per month to the Kurdistan region in 2020 after Baghdad and herbal reach agreement over oil exports and budget, a parliamentarian said. Coordinator of Financial Committee at the Iraqi Parliament Ahmed Safar said the federal government would transfer the total share of the region from the budget for fiscal year 2020 after Erbil exported 250,000 barrels of oil per day through Baghdad. Next year will be different for the Kurdistan region because it hands over the oil, he told Kurdistan Democratic Party, KDP, affiliated media on Wednesday, November 27. Baghdad is expected to transfer nearly 1 trillion dinars to the Kurdistan region according to the budget which Iraq has for the next year, he added. The Kurdistan regional government, KRG, and the federal government reached an agreement to resolve their ongoing disagreement over oil on Monday. The Kurdistan region is expected to export 250,000 barrels of oil per day through Baghdad to Turkey's Sihan port in return Baghdad will send the region's share from the federal budget for 2020. A Kurdish delegation is expected to visit Baghdad next week to discuss the Kurdistan region's share from the federal budget, according to authorities. Oil is just one of several persistent disagreements between the two governments which also includes security and the disputed areas. Next article of interest. Iraq announces fulfillment of all financial obligations with the Arab League. Iraq announced on Wednesday, fulfilling all its financial obligations with the Arab League. The ambassador of the Republic of Iraq to Cairo and the permanent representative to the Arab League Ahmed Nayef al-Dulami met with Assistant Secretary General of the League of Arab States for Administrative and Financial Affairs Ambassador Abdullah Sorer al-Jarman, a statement from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs said. The statement added that the two sides discussed a number of mechanisms that would get Iraq administrative benefits and the General Secretariat of the League of Arab States especially after meeting all its financial obligations in accordance with the relevant resolutions. Next article of interest. Planning. We will resume work on all projects stalled and lagging across the provinces. The Ministry of Planning, on Monday, its keenest to resume all projects stalled and lagging throughout the provinces. The Planning Minister Nuri Sabah al-Dulami received this morning the Governor of Mathana, Ahmed Exiled. The ministry's media office said in a statement received by Alec de Sadia. The Minister of Planning discussed during the reception of the Governor of Mathana, the reality of the service province and ways of investing allocations in vital projects and providing jobs through them to young people, the office added. Al Dulami said, the ministry seeks to unify local and international efforts to achieve services in accordance with the priorities of the citizen and his daily need pointing to the ministry's keenness to resume all stalled and lagging projects in all provinces. 
the minister called on local governments to make the best use of the cabinet's decision to grant governors the power to issue direct invitations to companies executing investment projects, stressing the importance of choosing specialized companies with high efficiency. Next article of interest, Parliamentary Finance. The government and parliament will fail to pass the 2020 budget before the end of this year. Parliamentary Finance Committee confirmed on Tuesday that the councils of ministers and representatives will fail to pass the draft federal budget law for 2020 before the end of the current fiscal year. A member of the committee Hainan Kadu in a statement to Information the expected fiscal deficit in the budget of 2020 reached nearly 70 trillion Iraqi diners, pointing out that the Council of Ministers has not sent the budget law to the House of Representatives so far because of a number of paragraphs need to be amended fulfills the demands of the demonstrators. He added that the inclusion of the demands of the demonstrators of functional degrees and grants need to allocate sufficient funds to them and the government has not allocated those funds so far noting that the government and parliament will fail to pass the 2020 budget before the end of this year. He explained that the remainder of the fiscal year is one month and the House of Representatives is unable to pass the budget in this short period as it needs amendments and detailed reading achieve the demands of the masses. The spokesman for the Information Office of Prime Minister William Warda, on Monday, that the failure to send the draft budget 2020 to Parliament is due to technical reasons, indicating that the government wants to complete the Parliament of the Commission and the elections and not occupied by something else. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted on new news as it unfolds from Iraq. Be sure to check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, the number one must-have tool for the currency exchange for both pre- and post-RV planning. Remember to stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, more articles of interest to come, over and out for now, the Denarian.